Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have rolled out the rocket that will carry our first crew to the first space station. And we need two crew on it. And hopefully nothing will go wrong, but we'll see. I think we will go with Lemming and Valentina. Valentina is still... well, I guess we need to like send Valentina to the moon or something. Anyway, Valentina and Lemming will be our crew. Well, it's highlighted the station for us. That's good. Station 1. But we are not in line with it yet. It's going to be... Oh. Up, oh, I was looking at the wrong place. It is going to be a nighttime launch, though. I'll, I'll wait another day. I think maybe we can squeeze some daylight into this, just briefly. Okay, I'm gonna try and launch now. SAS on, throttle up, ignition. Seven engines seem to be go, and launch. Okay, so we'll have to correct a little bit of inclination here, but that shouldn't be too bad. And at least we get some sunlight. Oh, so it's behind us, so hopefully it'll be a quick rendezvous. After this, we really have to look to landing them on the moon and everything. But we should try for a more sustainable system. By which I mean cheap, <laughs> right? <laughs> cheap would be good. Okay, switching off some engines for thrust weight ratio. And staging. Well, we have an engine here. Now, if I focus on it for the entire 30 days, probably all our thrusters would fail. Um, so hopefully we can time warp it, and it would take a long time time warping like that anyway. Hopefully we can time warp in the tracking station and still have it count. And there again, something is floating by. That's Rocket 9 Venus debris. Huh. Interesting. Gosh. We could legit have Kessler syndrome, huh? I mean, I'm not that bad right now. Do I do, do like leaving the debris? Of course, I launch a lot of stuff into this particular inclination in orbit in line with the moon. So, this is the most likely place to find stuff. Okay, we'll dump the stage. All right. Stage set. Probably should have had it in front of us instead of behind us. But we'll get into a higher orbit. We certainly have the Delta V for it. Well, I'll get into an even higher orbit. Uh... I'd actually like to meet up with it over there. So, cancel that. Ah, I should have knocked off the cap earlier. Okay, normal. Okay, we'll be getting to an interesting height, but hey, it's a close, uh, I mean, it's a quick rendezvous here. Okay, well, we'll have to fine tune it a little bit, but 867 kilometers on the high end. Didn't require us to. I mean, it did require us to stay below 2,000 kilometers. So actually, I wonder what would have happened if I passed that temporarily. I don't think passing it temporarily would have been a problem. I'm not sure. Okay, one more correction over there to correct our inclination. Well, closest approach within 300 meters seems good. Oh no, turned quickly. No, there goes uh, within 300 meters. Really taking advantage of my overwhelming delta V here. Oh, we don't have the forward ones active. Whoops. Oh no, are these wrong? 
Well, we might have to activate this thing's RCS. I thought these were placed so that they can crossfeed, but I think they are placed on the shell accidentally. We normally place it directly on the pod so that they crossfeed. The station itself already has problems, but that's realistic. Okay, and we have docked. Okay. So it's counting down, so that's all right. We're in a nice happy orbit. Got two crew. Now I have to see whether it works if we are at the tracking station instead. So, so far, attack life support, we've got plenty, uh, let's say we fail for 30 days, we still have enough to retry it without bringing them back first or anything like that. So, to the tracking station. Basically need to wait until April. April 18th. It is actually counting down here, so that's promising. Should I go back to it before it finishes, or after it finishes? Well, that it finished. Let, let me see if it's still finished when I go to it. It appears to be finished. Okay, so now we just have to bring them back down. I think this would be a good place. I never actually moved them into the station. Well, looks like it's got this vessel. We're sort of going for an Indian Ocean splashdown, or maybe over here in the Pacific kind of splashdown right now. It'll be fine. Ignition. Well, Valentin and Lemming better be able to take the G-forces from low Earth orbit. I'm not bothering with the scent mode if it's not coming back from the moon. <laughs> okay, service module decoupling. All right, we are in the atmosphere. Oh, we lost a battery pack. Now yep, the service module explosions over there. And an RCS block failure, but we weren't able to use that one anyway. We are currently over Indonesia. I think we'll get past Indonesia and then be in the midst of all those really busy shipping lanes. Yes, there'll be a boat to pick us up over there. G-forces, sort of serious. Lemming's having a little bit of difficulty, but, you know, it's lower forbid. So, right here. Just south of, uh, Singapore. Lemming's fine, look at him. Okay, aerocap. Aerocap is off. Might, might end up on land, really close to that coast. Okay, parachutes out. Just in the water here. Really convenient for pickup. That's what I that's what I say. Okay. And recover vessel. Um let's just do a normal recovery. Uh no N normal recovery. Gosh. Well, the little first space station contract alarm has gone away, so presumably we have fulfilled it. Alright, we got some funds back for that. Well, I'm going to try to do the launch pad upgrade. So that we can do larger missions. So that's two million down the drain. <laughs> um, and we'll have to wait for that to finish before rolling anything out. So, Southern. 38,000 is what we have left to work with. Let's take a look at our contracts. Oh, uh, let's see, what other windows do we have? We should have some transfer windows listed. Let's say to Mars. Okay. 
254 days. That's a little bit tight, isn't it? 239 days. How quickly can we build a rocket? Um, well, that depends on how many upgrade points you want to throw at it. Can't really do a speed up on this by paying them more. Uh, we would have to upgrade the speed at which we build things. Upgrade points. Okay, Jupiter. We would probably have to wait for that one, yeah. Venus. That's too soon. We'll consider that later. Saturn is getting pretty far out. We haven't demonstrated a good ability to generate power that far. Maybe Ceres. Okay, now let's see our contracts. Position, Jupiter mission, and adjusted orbit of Jupiter. That's interesting. Well, I don't think that's going to work because it doesn't have the ability to keep up its power and I don't remember it having much Delta V left, so... We would probably have to send something new. We can't reposition that one. Specific orbit of Europa. Well, that's more interesting. That... Oh, this, this isn't this polar orbit of the moon. This one's Europa. We already got the polar orbit around the moon. We should do that just to get the money. Once the pad's upgraded, of course, we don't have... I think... Don't we have a second pad? Do, right? Forget. Okay, I'm forgetting whether that was RP1 or RP2000. Okay, so... That's the problem with doing all these career modes. Um, eventually they all get mushed together. I think we can do this. 37 years, we've got the time. We'll get the advance, so that makes me happier. Equatorial orbit of Deimos, that's a little bit too tight. I feel like we're going to bump into something, right? I think it might not be taking into consideration the lumpiness of Phobos. No, oh, sorry, Deimos there. Watch out for that. IO is too tough. Did we not do the Deimos flyby? Oh, well, I, I guess we got the science without really picking up the contracts. Well, we could do those again. Alright, well, yeah, fine. Deimos flyby. We have got Maxis 7, Phobos flyby, and Jupiter flyby. Okay, yeah, it's about time we knock those out. New space station. Well, I mean... That can be done, but let's not, in this case. This one's actually two to low lunar orbit. That we can do, but we'll wait on actually picking that up, because its duration is only two years. So that will be a thing that we are going to try to do prior to crewed lunar landing, which will give us an advance of 1.1 million. Successful re-entry, I probably should have just knocked out by now. The problem is it's uncrewed, so we haven't had much reason for that. Uh, Jupiter orbit uncrewed should be done. When we do the flyby, the probe should be able to capture into orbit pretty easily. But I'm running out of contract slots now. So... Shouldn't have picked up so many. I'll leave that be for now, too, until we knock out that uh, lunar orbit one. This polar orbit of the moon, we can knock that out, and then we can pick up the... Well, there's a lot of juicy contracts, to be honest. We'll see. Uh, you know, moon orbit... I mean, if we're going to do position polar orbit around the moon with this one... This doesn't... Uh, let me just see. I don't think it requires anything that would conflict with this. So, all right. We'll do that moon orbit as well. So we're full up on contracts. We need the funding in order to do the moon missions. Especially if we wanted to do them in a sustainable way. So now I'm just waiting for the pad. Do we have another pad? 
current pad. Okay, so we have this pad too we could use actually. All right, let me try and cook up that moon mission. Well, this was a lander. We don't need all this business. We need a pla radio plasma wave antenna. And we might as well put a magnetometer boom to counterbalance it. And then some solar panels. Well, it's got plenty of Delta V to do the job. Let's just pack it up and go with it. Just call it Usagi 2. Well, we'll have to see when the lineup with the moon is, but I think we should be able to launch in daylight. Okay, as expected, SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition. We have three engines, and go. Odyssey rocket. This has SE2100 engines at the bottom. Burning kerosene and oxygen. Well, we're through max Q. Okay, and staging. And fairings. So these are SE 2006AB engines. They also use kerosene and oxygen. They're sort of like the RD68s in that they're efficient vacuum carrier locks engines. Actually about the same thrust, so basically exactly like those. This rocket is OP for the payload. Uh, we don't have RCS thrusters on this stage, so we will dump it. Okay, it will de be deorbited. And next. This little guy will do our transfer for us. Oh, we need RCS though. All right, that's in orbit. And transferring to the moon. But we'll probably need to adjust inclination and a whole bunch of other stuff in order to get to the orbit that we're supposed to get into. But for now, this is okay. We've got the radio plasma wave antenna. All right, and go on to the moon. Okay. Well, I guess that's the orbit we need to get into. Well, I'll work on that for when we get into the moon's SOI. I want to actually capture right above it like this. Keep it loose so that we can turn. Need a little bit radial. So that our periapsis is actually here. How much is that? 559. I mean, we should have enough. We've got a lot in this thing. So that's how it's going to be initially. And on we go. Interplanetary comm dish alpha communication failure. Oh, that's a bit of a problem. Hey, there's Earth. There's the moon. We have a lot less delta V in here than I remember. Ah, it was lying. <laughs> ah, that thing. Okay, and then that burn over there. Short circuit in more modern control core. That's just the battery thing, but still. And go. Staging. Oh, right. Probably inter uh, interplanetary comm dish is still working anyway because. Um, the failure mod does not understand real antenna. Okay, well that looks pretty good for now. We will do that. Hopefully no more batteries will be at issue. Okay, tilt. Tilting will entail a suborbital trajectory temporarily. 
Well, we'll have to do some correction. But... Let me just match periapses. We do have to collect science for the moon orbit one. Let's see... Any of these got something new? Let me just... I've done, got to just transmit the null science for it. I generally view the science requirement as just proving that you have a signal. Okay... Well, altitude-wise, that shouldn't be too far off. Oh, it's happy with it. It just needs stability. We were a little bit off on inclination, but it's got some tolerance. Okay, so we've got the polar orbit of the moon sat done. And I guess I won't immediately commit to anything, though likely we are going to want to pick up, like, Jupiter or Mars orbit. We finally completed moon orbit twice. We can only do it twice. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll leave the two slots free just in case I change my mind. Anyway, we've once again reached two million funds, so we're good, but a lot of that is in advances for things that we have committed to do. So got to keep that in mind. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.